What's up, folks? Welcome to the episode of what I'm playing today. Marvel's Avengers. It's only fitting. Uh, I never finished that playthrough of Spider-Man on the channel, so it's only fitting that I hop in with some Marvel's Avengers. Uh, can you just... Oh, what? Oh, I thought she was going to get impaled by that junk. It's just trees. Never mind. But uh, I'm kind of excited. September... It's now September 5th. I was not one of those lucky people who decided to pre-order the freaking $69 edition of this game. Get it, what, three, four days early and start playing. I was like, what? I'm going to just play it on the weekend. I, I work during the week. What am I going to do with the with a pre-order on Monday? But, uh, yeah, so basically we are playing as... I don't know if she's named herself Mrs. Marvel yet, but she got the stretchy arms. Kamala Khan. Looking, we're heading off to Utah. Looking for the resistance front. The resistance. Uh, no, you know I have to go this way. This is definitely backwards. There better be a treasure chest or something. No, of course not. Oh, it was a branching pathway. Look at that. Gameplay diversity. Not really. Um, but yeah, we're heading off to Utah, which I'm like, shout out to this game for taking place in Utah. In the first, like, hour of the game, we've been in San Francisco. Jersey shit, Jersey City, shout out. Uh, can we look at this? Infected area? Probably a bad one. Uh, Jersey City, San Francisco, and now the rambling canyons of Utah. How much health did I lose? Jeez, you need some new clothes, girl. Wait, hold up. All right, so before this, she got rid of her SIM card. Uh, support rock? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Willpower decreases. Uh-huh. Okay, so we'll just press L1. Let's just do that. Uh, but yeah, we... She got rid of her... What's you talking? In a... Ooh! Can we dodge? She got rid of her, uh... Oh, Jesus. Just, just dodge that junk. Uh, she got rid of her SIM card. So I don't know how she had that map on her phone, unless it was just, like, a picture. Uh, but she managed to... I guess download the map of the thing in the store locally, but she definitely does not have access to that 5G data right now. That's just a, uh, that's just a guarantee. All right. Let's look at the logo. First things first, I don't like that you have to hold to interact with things. Or at least if you're going to hold, don't make me hold so long. It just seems like I'm just standing there for such a long time. Oh, what is that? Fragments. I love fragments. Some must have escaped. They have to be around here somewhere. Okie dokie. And, uh, let's see here. Oh, another voice dialogue. Look, I'm not going to look at any of the voice dialogues. That junk is just, it's cool, but they read them out loud to you. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. They do, they do that in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm just like, nah, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to spend time doing. Listening to voiceovers. Uh, all right, let's head down here. Better keep looking. All right, I'm definitely going to die here. So here's what happens in this game, right? So you have, like, mild platforming sections like this. Not unlike uh, Sonic uh, Sonic Boom or something along those lines, where it's not really, like, a hardcore platformer. It's more, like, medium to, to, to weak challenges. But you can die pretty easily, because I, I don't think the platform was supposed to be the main emphasis of the game. And, uh... Because of that, I've realized the load times in this game are awful, all right? Like, so the load times, if you die, there's like a three or, there's a character, uh, not character select screen, but like it, it cycles through the characters in their little action -y poses. And it's like, that's cool. All right, run, run, run. This is basically Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, yeah, it cycles, oh, we, can you jump? All right, that's a cutscene. Did she not? I no. I mean, I've killed a bunch of robots and stuff already. How do you not know you can do that? I don't know how long she's had her powers at this point. Well, I'm guessing like four years, because that's when uh, she got her powers four years ago. Alrighty. No way. Chimera. I found them. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. This game's trophy system. No way too many trophies for just for just walking through the game breeds a false sense of an accomplishment come on now 
All right, Leo, let's sprint. Here we go. And super jump. Oh, this is like that game, that new game from a uh, from Whoa. Square Enix. The one that's coming out, it's like not Final Fantasy 16, but it looks like something else. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It, it looks like the tr thing they showed in the PlayStation 5 uh, demo or whatever. But yeah, the loading screen is like crazy long. It cycles to like three or four characters before it loads back in. I'm like, why is it so hard to reload a checkpoint? I mean, I feel like we were we were pretty good at those things. Uh, oh, well, cool. You'll get to see. So we got Thor. We got, who else? Black Widow. We're going to have... Iron Man. I'm like, why do we have to look at this? The checkpoint system is pretty generous. Shouldn't take this long. I don't like the, the lower eyelids of the Iron Man, so I'm not going to lie. It looks like he's squinting. I posted that on Reddit one day. People downvoted me. I don't know. Also, I guess you should say, shout out to the voice actors in this game. Alright, we got Black Widow, we have Laura Bailey. Iron Man, we have Nolan North. Thor, we have Travis Willingham, aka Knuckles, and uh, grab that junk. All right, and what's his name? Bruce Banner. We have Troy Baker. See now, that's just that's just that's trash. And then uh, okay, let, let me just get over it. Can you? Thank you. Hold up, it it definitely moved me past the checkpoint. Like it recognized that I got over the checkpoint. Cause let's see. Uh oh, let me just let me just keep moving. Let's just. I definitely... Alright, cool. We're good. We're good. And, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Bruce Banner is, uh, Troy Baker. Oh, who? I th isn't that Laura Bailey's husband? I'm like, how do these people get... They, they just have an in in the video game industry. It's crazy. Uh, but more importantly, we have Usman Ali, a.k.a. Selena Meyer's husband, Nope, Boy Toy, from, uh, Veep, a.k.a. the dude from uh, the first Iron Man movie, the Taliban leader. He's uh, Dr. Tarleton. I mess with it. I respect it. All right, let's uh, get up here. On another, another note, can we talk about games recently? I guess they do it more recently, but can we talk about games having this awkwardly close over-the-camera shoulder angle that you can't change? You can change the combat angle. You cannot change the over-the-camera, over-the-shoulder, like, exploration angle. God of War had one, but it definitely was not nearly... Are you going to... All right. Do I have to do something? Or... This is a cutscene. This is a cutscene. All right. Uh, God of War was not nearly this close to Kratos. They recognize you need some spatial awareness when it comes to this crap. Uh, oops. Down was the reactor room. Up's probably the way to go. Child just lost her shoe. What are you doing, buddy? Holy crap. I must be close. I don't know if you can climb ladders faster in this game. I've been having trouble doing that. Sometimes she doesn't want to climb at all. It's weird. It feels like a decently good game, but some stuff feels a little laggy. Uh, like I said, holding, having to hold square to open things, having to... Uh, the way you grab onto things sometimes feels a little wonky because you think that you're grabbing them and then she has the delay from when she actually reaches with her wobbly arms. It's, it's, it's weird. Holy crap. The command deck. This is where Captain America died. I will take this. this, is it. this is the what was that? Uh, didn't even say anything. That's weird. All right. Nice shadow, though. Uh, I do think the the faces in this game they look fine as far as like the the style for the characters or the way they design the characters. I think they're fine. I do think I've seen better games. I've seen better looking games. Like this is kind of. Final Fantasy, Fantasy 15 level, and then we have like other games are like Final Fantasy 7 remake level, where you're just like, okay, those faces look really good. But I think part of that problem is because these are supposed to be like, well, these are characters based off of real people versus, uh, can you look at this? Final Fantasy 7, they only have to draw from like character designs by what's his name? You know his name, that guy. Gotta get the power back on. All right, and judging by the uh, sparkles, you can press up on the D-pad to show where you gotta go, but this game's pretty simple. Not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of mind-numbing puzzles, mind-taxing puzzles. Hold up, she lost a shoe. Where's, she got her shoe back. She definitely lost a shoe. I thought that was what fell down the hole. Maybe it's just a rock, but uh, 
I mean, I know you can reach it. You got stretchy arms. Okay. Just focus. Rip. I'm assuming one of her powers is uh, like that regenerative health or whatever that like Captain America and everybody has because there's no way this little what 16 year old girl is living through all that she's living through. I'm just saying. Something else scared everyone away then. Sounds like this whole thing's falling apart. Alrighty, anything over here? Can I collect anything? Is that a person? What's that? That's not a person. It's the next objective marker. That's what that is. All right, can we jog? Thank you. Wow. It's Cap Shield. Is. Also, this the game theme for this song. Not as big a fan of it as the, the Marvel Spider-Man theme. They definitely on the this character selection. Strange. They definitely have the uh, the string section, the violins going, which is kind of cool. But uh. Yeah, I'm not not as big a fan of this one. Doesn't doesn't get me going. Doesn't get my Jimmy's Russell. Doesn't get me uh, get me pumped up. Also, I turned subtitles on because I thought it would be useful. But not closed captioning. But their subtitles already have closed captioning, describing the sounds and the whatnots that are happening. I don't really know what was the point of that. Uh, oh, it's Hulk. I wonder if this is like in a. Thor, where he was stuck as the Hulk for all those years. Running, 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 running. Thank you for these long, narrow hallways. This reminds me of Final Fantasy XIII. Go watch my playthrough. And hey! Alright, how did he get over there? That doesn't make any sense. And hey. And hey. Yeah, okay, what was that? Mash X. And uh. She just. She definitely just missed that grab section. Alright, can we grab that? Thank you. But yeah, her arm extends to, like the upper part of this. Of like where she's grabbing. But then she has to grab the lower part because you're supposed to climb up things. I don't even know. It's weird. I need like a superhero game that's made by like the Mario dev team so they know how to do proper platforming. get out of here this time on what I'm playing uh, open the skill screen oh we get to upgrade things that's fantastic sure it's like every other game it's just like spider-man and just like ghost of Tsushima which I'm not playing all right how many we have two skill points all right what are what are our options uh, this is a difficult and oh because you got to get wait I have to get these oh you have to get the one that's circled so that's dumb all right that's fine uh okay I already have that what is this? Harpoon? Ranged power attack. Well, I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll just... I'll look at these later. I don't even know what you have to do to get skill points, so I'm probably just gonna wait. And, uh... Oh, wait, I got more skill points? No, I didn't. You lied to me. Still have one skill point. Whatever, I'll do that later. Breakable walls. Oh, we had that with the Thor section earlier. That's... That's recurring gameplay... Activities. Uh, but yeah, I have Ghost of Tsushima. I got it last week. Not gonna lie. I did not realize it was gonna be nearly buttons light attack. Oh, buttons with light. Okay, that's fine. I was like, what are we what are we talking about here? Should have transformed back to Dr. Banner by now. 
great. Um, yeah, I, I have Ghost of Tsushima. I might do an episode of what I'm playing on that. I'm not gonna lie, that game's kind of janky. All right, it's a. Uh, if you're a fan of like stealth assassination whatever go for it i'm not i didn't realize i was gonna be as Almost prevalent there. as it was as it is in that game uh, i was expecting more of like a god of war with light stealth elements and granted it's not like a crazy stealth game right uh but there are mad enemies and mad strong enemies i was playing on normal mode and i was getting killed left and right trying to uh waste time or trying to spend time like stealthing people and then people would find me and kill me and it's just like what are we doing so uh, i don't know how i'll be playing that game it's uh and then i did this what was it the burning burning down log mission um or the burning down log base and i completed it and i was trying to find the last piece do we come from here oh we came from up there let's just search around all right here we go treasure chest hidden treasure uh i got to the log base and what happened oh wait are these skill oh, no those are fragments all right Got to the log base and uh, I complete all the objectives. Try to find the, the missing armor or the miss missing iron. I find one and the other one doesn't spawn. And I'm like, what are we doing? The thing doesn't spawn and you're going to tell me. Uh, let's get up here. You're going to tell me I have to uh, like leave the area basically and respawn. That's what people were saying it happens. Things don't spawn. I'm like, what are we doing? Like, why is that a problem? It's 2020. Your game should spawn everything that I need to complete the mission. Oh, it's like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I'm not getting that game right now because uh, we already have those games. The remaster would be cool, don't get me wrong, but. Oh, you can't go that way. can't go that way. All right. Let me go back this way. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I should probably press up on the D pad to tell me my objective. Aha. Alrighty. And get up there. All right. What was that thing? Oh, here we go. would definitely help being on uh, this side. Alright, cool beans. Push buttons, move platforms. Right. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking over there. Can I break this? Can I break this? Of course I can. Can I? Did I break that? No, I didn't. Oh wait, why is the thing swing? Is it moving? It is moving. What is it doing? I right, just get up there, uh, get over here. Yeah, I want to know what these fragments do. I just want something to give me more skill points. Apparently, you can't like once you allot your skill points and attributes and whatnot to things, you can't uh, reallocate them, like remove them, which you could actually do in Tony Hawk Pro Skater Four, which is kind of funny. Uh, and they, that game gave you ample skill points to max out your skaters. All right, is there anything else I can do over here? I just want to see. Don't want to miss anything. All right, and hey, and is that a button? Is that a button? What's that? It's definitely. I don't. Okay, there we go. You always have to wait for them to finish talking too, which is so dumb. What if there's anything around that could help? Like I get it. This game has an emphasis on narrative, and I'm sure they want you to hear all their gloriously written dialogue. But come on now. Oh, we got bands. Bands that make her dance. All right, equip gear. Uh, do things. You can compare. All right, that's cool. So we will equip melee, melee gear, uh, common bands. Do we have two? We have two. Oh, wait, you can equip two? Oh, wait, what? How do you remove? How do you remove? How do you remove? How do you remove? All right, let's just equip, equip best gear. Let's do that. All right, that is a thing. Where's her vest? I guess it's underneath. That's That's cool. And, uh, Insignia? Really? That's nifty. Alright, whatever. Is it a mask? No one cared who- Oh, alright. That yeah, that's just conveniently placed in the box with all your gear. That's cool. Is that really how those handles work? You just- You could find a handle and just shove it in there? Uh, where am I? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna get this junk while moving. I'm gonna get this junk while moving. Oh, I guess it's just gonna keep moving. All right, that's fine. And grab that junk. Grab that junk, bro. If you don't, if you, if you don't, if you don't, does that mean I have to go all the way back around? Are you kidding me? All right, that's fine. 
And running, 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 running. Wait, what? Oh, we're good. I, I didn't rem What are you doing, buddy? Like those stretchy arms, those gumbo arms. I'm not gonna lie, Spider-Man did it better. Spider-Man's web sling did it worlds better. There we go. There's my way out. We're not gonna go up that ladder. There's no way we're going up that ladder first. Oh, we will. We just aren't gonna do it in a cutscene. Because that's not fun gameplay. Better find a way off this thing. Like, how do her knees uphold the force? Like, she's definitely blowing out those kneecaps. Alrighty. And, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Dodge that jump? Yeah, if you hold R2, you get, like, the dodge or the counter if you're black. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's do some of this. And just, I mean, this game is, it feels like it's just mashing. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to upgrade. I mean, I'm sure there's other enemy dice, but uh, so far it just seems like just a bunch of mashing. Which I mean, I'm all I'm all for mash fest. I'm all for mash fest. Mash fest. Uh, you? Alrighty. There's somebody up there. Uh, can we midair? Got him. Got him. That boot to the face. Uh, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Where's the Where's the dude? All right, L1. What does this do? That's the Healy thing, right? All right. Other thing is, the dodge, you double tap, much like Ghost of Tsushima, you double tap circle to do dodge, which I'm not a big fan of. I prefer if my perfect dodge is one tap of the circle button. It creates a better rhythm uh, in the gameplay. I look at things like Spider-Man, um, or even Ghost, where you have to tap L1. It's not as simple as just, uh, okay, raise X. Only roar by dodging. All right, that makes sense, because the button's red. Dodging press. Yes, yeah, so you got a double tap, and it's like that doesn't this is not feel intuitive. I don't appreciate that. Uh, all right, let's do the R one. Oh, I was gonna use the takedown. Let's. All right, that's fine. I was gonna do the takedown thingy. Uh, I guess you can only use takedown enemies on certain or takedown abilities on certain enemies. I would prefer if it was like a like a. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, can you vault? Can you vault? There we go. Uh, I would appreciate if the takedown was like Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man, where it's like you build up a meter and you can just use it on anybody. Uh, maybe it's like that. I might not unlock that. I don't know. They haven't actually given me the tutorial on the uh, takedown ability, so it might be much deeper than I'm giving it credit for. All right, I can definitely take these guys out. I can definitely take all these guys out. Embiggen. Embiggen. She's a biggin. Oh, God. I, I'm not a fan of this. This is weird. Not a fan of playing as giants. I mean, I'm a tall man in reality, all right? I am freaking six foot six. And uh, everybody in my life lets me lets me know that I'm just just a giant. And uh, I'm not a big fan of this. I want to play as characters who don't represent, represent my day-to-day -day struggles of not fitting in cars and not fitting in desks and not fitting in uh, a bunch of places. But uh, oh yeah, this is definitely a mash fest. I don't know how long this form lasts. I'm assuming... Oh, alright. It's over. Alright, let's boop that. Can we, can we boop that? Also, I have aim assist on heavy because uh, why wouldn't I? I'm not out here trying to be... Oh, let's go. I'm not out here trying to be uh, the best freaking Marvel's Avengers player. I'm just trying to get through the story. I'm trying to enjoy the campaign. Alrighty. Those green things are also health, I believe, which they spawn ample amounts of health. I'm kind of surprised. Heroic high five. Alright, we'll get that jump. We'll get that jump. Uh, what are we looking at? You. You. That didn't do as much damage as I thought. I will say, the rumble in this game, it definitely feels kind of uh, dynamic compared to like usual PlayStation games. I'm usually not a huge fan of rumble. Um, like action games is fine, but just like other games, all oh, that dang. All right then. Can I play as Hulk now? Yeah, I'm usually not as a huge fan of rumble, um, but it does feel really good. I mean. 
doing? Oh, take it easy. It's okay. Just make it sure that you don't die. Does he have an infinite supply of those, uh, of those shirts? Okay. You can't Maybe. just go around drawing people's I, I, I know, I know. Under normal circumstances, no, but these aren't normal circumstances. Holy crap. Dr. Banner? Oh, no. Um, Highway 9, Highway 9, it's about 20 miles. Highway 9, if you take Highway 9, you go. Then you probably could just do s what sorry. What are you talking about? I've spent a lot of time um, as the as the big guy. So how long have you been here? Uh, a. A few years, yeah. <sighs> That's remarkable. Yeah. So I've been told. So, this is why aimbots chase a kid into the desert? Not exactly. I kind of stole something off of AIM's server. Huh? <laughs> what? Why? Uh, Why? I know, I know, I know, okay? I just, I think you should see for yourself. It's Tarleton. Yeah. Why are you shutting down the security protocols? Did, did he just... Right? Right? That's what I thought. He totally locked the cap in the reactor room and then he tried to jack the chimera. That's a bit of a stretch. We know the reactor was malfunctioning, so it's possible Cap asked him to shut down the security protocols and then lock the no, door. We've heard the A-Day testimony tons of times. Tarleton and Monica were on the command deck when the explosion happened, and that's why they barely survived. But this proves that Tarleton was nowhere near the command deck when the explosion happened. This proves he was lying. So... Where's the rest of it? Got bumped off. The rest of the footage got corrupted. Yeah. Look. What if the Avengers were set up? Okay. Tarleton, AIM, the so-called cure? It's just not lining up. There's something wrong and I can feel it. Don't you? Here I thought you were just some nosy little thief trying to make off a cap shield. <laughs> so? I was thinking. Couldn't Mr. Stark help us with this? I mean, the whole mainframe was built on his technology. Um, if anyone could get us in, it could be him, right? Yeah. There is a bus stop off Highway 9. You're gonna keep heading west, and then when you do, it'll take you to some old friends who can help. Maria's good people. Tell her I sent you, and uh, just show her all of this. But you saw the video. You I'm know something's not right sorry, here. Sorry, I can't help you. I wish I could, but I can't. But you're Dr. Bruce Banner. You're one of the greatest minds of our time. Greatest minds? Look at you. Look at what we did. You have no idea how dangerous it is. Tarleton calls people like me inhuman. Claims we're sick, violent, demented. He says 
says our disease will kill us in the end. Well, I don't believe it. Guess I'll find Mr. Stark myself. Wait. Just... You'll need a ride. Really? Oh, John, that's Circle K. Without the K. Oh, Jack, we're going to get copyright struck. All right, shout out to you, Bruce. Shout out to you. See, then people wonder why the whole kills everything. Come on now. I wonder if that was a loading screen or if that was built in like a cutscene. I don't even know. Other thing, I would not mind if this was more open world where I could just kind of enjoy exploring everywhere kind of like a marvel spider-man but maybe we'll get to that who knows uh oh dang you're gonna keep talking aren't you did he scare away the resistance you know honestly kamala i don't remember anyone being there now the big guy had a run-in with a few shield agents but after that how does he keep his clothes so nice, given he's been apparently living in that chimera for years? Uh, we're going to call an episode here. I might come back, play more of this. I might be here. I might be later in the game. I mean, I'm digging the game. It's, uh, there are things they could change, but uh, I'm digging it so far. Yeah, you just stand there, Kamala. And you stand there, Bruce. We will. Uh, I will see you next time, though, on what I'm playing or something else. Who knows? As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.